All right, well, it looks like a mess now, don't it? Oh, you're thinking, what has he done? Look at that. Yeah, she was a mess. A couple of two buys. You can see how that's messed up. Got a bunch of finished nails drove through it. So, now I'm going to knock the bottom out of it. All right, a couple more knocks and this thing's going to be out of here. Just a couple more. Check that out. Bing! Done. So, see how nice and smooth that is right there? I'll take a DA or a roll lock, like a 36 grit on it, and I'll go through there and I'll grind that glue out. Do the same thing on the sides and clean that up. In the front, get all the mouse turds and bedding and all the other crap out of it. In fact, and then I'll take this and I'll probably, I might pull that out and staple it back together. I use coated staples like you would the, uh, the two inch ones like you'd use on roofing material. I'm gonna tell you what, you can't pull them apart. So I'll pull all these nails out, and like I said, I'll grind these all off, and I'll have to put some new gussets in. Some of these are busted. No big deal, though. But the bottom is out. See ya. All right, so we got Brad's Playfield out of his 8-Ball Deluxe LE. Man, I'm telling you what, this thing had a huge amount of mice droppings, nesting material. It is scroungy all over the top of this. And I'll show you some close-ups of this. It is, oh, it's awful. This thing sat in a garage, and he had a mice problem where he lived at. And where this was staying, and it, uh, oh, they made a mess of it. They chewed on some uh, wiring in the, on this play field, uh, in the back box. They left a mess everywhere. And right over here, I'm not sure you can see it very well, but there's a spot here on the play field where the, it, it's popped up. The laminates popped up. So obviously this here was a wet spot for some reason. I'm not sure, but anyway. We're going to take, I'm going to go ahead and strip this thing down and uh, get it clean and then sand her down so we can put a hard top on it. So, anxious to do that. I've already got it ordered. It's on its way from outside edge. And uh, so, now all I got to do is get all this stuff off and get it clean and clean the bottom side and get it jigged up like I did the, uh, and I'll have to show you when I get these all jigged up to uh, sand them and clear coat them and uh, I'll have to show you what I've already done with the uh, Evil Knievel. So stay tuned. All right, you're not going to believe it. This thing is finally done, finally done, finally done. I can't even begin to tell you how much stuff I've put into this machine. It has almost all the boards are new except for the uh, soundboard. And we was able to reuse the auxiliary board on the lamp rack. All the displays are still good. Uh, these are all original displays. 
but we did a hard top on a play field, a lot of new parts here, new plastics, new pop-upper bodies and caps, and uh, lane guides, I mean, drop targets, a lot of new parts on this. Uh, picked up a, a shooter gauge here on eBay, and um, I think Brad's decided at a later date he's gonna put a new back glass in it. So, uh, aside from fixing the cabinet, and then I cleaned up the graphics a little, and then clear coated them, some new uh, legs, cleaned up the coin door, put a new floor in the bottom of the cabinet, so it's nice and solid and tight, and I fixed the panel on the back, put a new panel on the back as well. So, wow, wow, it's finally done. But man, it plays awesome, it's fast. So let's check it out. Here, let me get you a little closer in here, eh? All right, here we go. I even went as far as, because the bottom was trash, I had to uh, go ahead and put a brand new speaker in it too. good player he's gonna have a lot of fun with this thing and um, so I'm glad that uh, I got an opportunity to do this because I got one more from Troy Furman in Jacksonville it's actually just a regular eight ball deluxe but we're putting a new play field in it I've already got the cabinets done and I'm putting a new play field in it uh, it's gonna be fantastic yeah it's 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 brand new machine basically brand new machine so, while I'm at it, I'll just, we'll take a peek. I've got uh, Kansas City Bob's Playfield here I'm starting on. I've got it clear coated, and then I'm going in and start touching up the graphics. You can see, you can see spots like that. That's because when I sanded this, I wanted to get the shooter lane, of course, nice and slick, but I had to sand out a lot of the, uh, rough area where the ball had traveled plus right here at the pop bumpers there's a, a big green and a big yellow 
circle that goes right in here. So I'm gonna have to reproduce those, no big deal, but I mean, it was a mess in there. So I'm gonna go back in, basically the same colors. It's kind of a beige color and touch up uh, the girls and uh, some of the uh, lettering. I do have to uh, re-glue the inserts. They all fell out, so no big deal, but that's for a later date. Anyway, yeah, how awesome is this thing? Wow. Turned out fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, thanks again, Brad, and I hope you enjoy the machine. It's going to be a blast. See ya.